Right now, a nonprofit community kitchen is shutting down. We'll look at the impact Little John's closing will have, but also why the man behind it says they're not done just yet. Plus, putting safety at the forefront. How school districts across the state have a new protocol in place to train for any school safety crisis. And a call for four-legged volunteers. Does your dog have what it takes to be a calming influence at American Family Children's Hospital? You're watching News 3 Now at 10. And thanks for joining us tonight from the initial concept to construction and the grand opening. It is now the latest chapter in a story we have been following for years. Little John's Kitchen, which features the pay what you can concept, is now suspending operations. The founder of the nonprofit, which also employs veterans for food industry training, says losing its temporary space and growing food and labor costs has been too much for them to handle all at once. And our Armand Rahman explains. Armand? Eric, Chef Dave Heidi tells me it's important everyone knows they aren't giving up and shutting down, just temporarily suspending their services while their new facility is bringing, being built for the next 12 to 18 months. But he understands that the Dane County Meals on Shelters and more will feel their absence. That was the hardest morning of my life was this morning. That's because Chef David Heidi had to tell his staff at Little John's Kitchens. Things got out of our hand and there wasn't anything we could do to fix it. But that doesn't mean that we don't feel mm, feel guilty and sorry for that happening. The nonprofit was preparing and sending out almost 16,000 meals a week to senior centers, schools, homeless shelters, and more. Unfortunately, as of today, are having to term about 80% of our projects that we were working on, the meals that we were trying to feed out in the community. They have to be out of their temporary space in Verona by February 10th, and Heidi says another location slated for this year had fallen through. Like right now, there's literally no kitchen. It's been hard for him to find a kitchen space that meets their equipment needs and their price. Although there were some wonderful ideas put out there, a lot of them, you know, the landlords wanted $13,000 in rent and just we can't sustain that while also trying to help the communities we serve. Even though they mostly use excess food donated from farms, stores and other suppliers, some contracts call for very specific orders. So we were having to supplement all of it with purchasing ingredients, which meant that our food costs went, you know, through the roof. During the gap, Heidi hopes there will be job opportunities waiting for the veterans they hire for paid six-month kitchen training. If you are an employer looking for an amazing employee, we have some amazing people and we just want to make sure our staff are taken care of. Chef Dave says there will be two people available Monday through Friday afternoons in person to help any of his employees with job placement, resume writing, or referral letters. He's also hoping to maintain their setup at the Children's Museum. Armand, thank you. And around the state, officials are warning ice fishing. It's never 100% safe after a half dozen vehicles fell into a lake right on the Wisconsin-Minnesota state line. It's happened over the weekend. No injuries were reported. The DNR says driving a snowmobile or an ATV on ice requires at least 5 inches of ice. Cars and small trucks need 8 to 12 inches. Taking a look over southern Wisconsin tonight after a warm start to the new year, it is starting to feel a lot more like January usually feels. Julian Seawright with a look at our certified most accurate forecast. Julian? That's right. Temperatures continue to be very January like, but the thing is, is that it's still rather cloudy. Now, as we get into what we're seeing for tonight, it's going to be cloudy. At least it's quiet, though, throughout much of southern Wisconsin, especially for us here in Madison. Temperatures, well, looking ahead, 25 right now. We're actually going to get a couple degrees warmer as we head into the overnight. So our low for tonight is actually right around now, closer towards the midnight hour. But transitioning into tomorrow, well, we're going to kick things off into the upper 20s and near the freezing point. Right now, 30 degrees in Janesville, 27 in Platteville. Upper to mid-20s throughout many areas, though it's a bit onto the uh, little couple degrees more for Janesville as of right now. Wind speeds are a little bit stronger towards Monroe and Janesville, but overall not too strong throughout much of southern Wisconsin, but they're just enough to keep things rather cold. 17 degrees is what it feels like for Madison and for Platteville, 21 degrees for Janesville, and 14 for Monroe. And as we head into tomorrow, the good news is temperatures will be about a degree near freezing. It's going to be quiet and dry, but folks, we are going to see another system later in the week that could bring in a little bit more snowfall. We'll talk about that and the impacts in just a few moments. Until then, back to you. Julian, thank you. The state is resting its case in a double homicide jury trial in Rock County. They finished calling witnesses against Marcus Randall L. this afternoon. In total so far, we have heard from 44 witnesses throughout the last five days of trial. And today, we heard from the lead investigator with the Janesville Police Department. He said despite no murder weapon or DNA evidence directly leading to Marcus Randall L. as the killer, there was still evidence there to ultimately charge him with the crime. 
throughout that process, there were several pieces of information or evidence that we obtained over the course of uh, probably from February 10th through August of 2022, when our last supplemental report was submitted with this case. We've seen that evidence over the past week from surveillance footage to text messages and personal accounts from family and friends about the early morning hours of February 10th, 2020. Tomorrow, Randall L's defense team will begin calling its witnesses to the stand and that trial will resume at 9 a.m. We will continue to follow it until a verdict is reached. Developing tonight, police in California say they have a suspect in custody after a pair of related shootings left seven people dead today. Four people were killed at a mushroom farm and three at a trucking business, both near Half Moon Bay, south of San Francisco. It wasn't immediately clear how those locations were connected. And in Iowa earlier today, two students were killed. One employee in serious condition after a shooting at a nonprofit educational program in Des Moines. Shortly after responding to the scene, police say they got a description of a vehicle related to the shooting and made a traffic stop about 20 minutes later, two miles away. Three people were taken into custody, but further information about those suspects has yet to be released. Safer classrooms, hallways, and auditoriums could be on the way for students and staff across the Badger State as our Keta Alexander explains this extra level of safety is the goal of new standardized district training. McKenna. Yeah, today the Wisconsin DOJ's Office of School Safety announced its new standard protocol and reunification training, a valuable resource that's available to any school in Wisconsin, whether it be public, private, or tribal. Safer education across all Wisconsin classrooms. That's the goal of the state DOJ's Office of School Safety, which on Monday began offering comprehensive crisis training on the standard response protocol and standard reunification method. The trainings essentially break down each level of a school crisis, with steps in place for each stage of threat, followed by an action plan for reuniting with parents and guardians once all is safe. Office of School Safety Director Trish Kiplin says that the new training works to reduce trauma among staff, students, and their families by adopting a thorough safety plan. Kids and staff might not feel safe if they don't think that there is a master plan of what to do if something bad were to happen. Unfortunately, there's been too many incidents in our nation in this last period of time, and we need to make sure we learn from every tragedy that occurs and we improve our practices. The one day training is open to any community member of a participating school district and includes a mix of lectures and hands on scenario practice. Those eight hours of learning can be life saving as Kilpin stresses preparation is power. I think it's important that we prepare schools in a trauma informed way. So we want to make sure that we're no drama, no trauma with our drills, but we want to equip people, empower them to feel that there is a plan. For more information on how school districts can request a day of safety training, just visit the Wisconsin DOJ's website and select the tab for Office of School Safety. McKenna, thank you. Next at 10, flags at the White House are at half-staff today. It's in honor of the victims of the Lunar New Year shooting. It happened in Monterey Park, California over the weekend. Doctors confirmed this afternoon that a shooting victim in their care died of their injuries. That brings the death toll now to 11. A flower and candle memorial is growing at the Star Dance Studio where the shooting happened. The gunman is dead. Officials are calling a 26-year-old a hero after he likely stopped an attack at a second location. Police say 72-year-old Hu Can Tran used a semi-automatic pistol equipped with a large-capacity magazine in the attack. After the shooting, Tran went to a second dance hall, and that's where 26-year-old Brennan Say wrestled the gun away from him. He told ABC's Good Morning America he thought he was going to die. Something came over me. I, I realized I needed to get the weapon away from him. Tran got away, but police say about 12 hours later he died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound as officers closed in. This was America's 33rd mass shooting this month. New video tonight showing members of the U.S. Coast Guard assisting the Royal Bahamas Defense Force in stopping an unsafe overloaded Haitian sailing vessel this weekend. There were 396 migrants on board this boat. Crews of the Coast Guard helped transfer the people to Bahamian authorities. An FBI search of President Biden's Delaware home has turned up even more material with classified markings raising questions from lawmakers about what's going on and who had access to those areas. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the Justice Department is treating its investigation into President Biden's handling of classified materials the same way it has handled former President Trump's case. The FBI spent 13 hours searching President Biden's Delaware home on Friday. The president's attorney says the FBI took six items consisting of documents with classification markings and surrounding materials.
Four members of the far-right Oath Keepers group convicted today of seditious conspiracy. The four were found guilty of using force to prevent the peaceful transfer of power from then-President Trump to President Biden during the January 6th attack on the Capitol. In all, six of nine January 6th defendants who have gone on trial for seditious conspiracy have been convicted by a jury. More local news now. The Dane County Humane Society's Wildlife Center needs your help with an unusual trio of birds all in the same room. They paired a pelican, a swan, and a goose with a fractured wing and while the feathered friends heal they're asking for donations from the community their pelican needs a constant supply of large fish while the swans food costs have skyrocketed due to a lettuce shortage the wildlife center does not receive any government funding and how about this if you think your dog has what it takes to help uw uh, patients uw health is encouraging dog owners to apply for the newly launched caring canines program it's for volunteers and their dogs to make bedside visits and provide a calming influence cuddle time and a feeling of normalcy for patients and families during their stay at american family children's hospital the director of the program says when they ask a child in the hospital who or what they miss the most they often answer the family dog it's evidence-based and the research is out there to show that the dogs have an overwhelming amount of power to provide just wonderful security and safety. Um, that, that emotional support that we get from physically petting a dog and from cuddle time is something that humans can't do. Good boy. American Family Children's Hospital must be at least 18 years of age, commit to at least one year of service, and bring their dog to visit at least two times a month. Still ahead of 10, voting is now open to help the city name a handful of new snow plows. Plus, temperatures are dropping. We'll check back in with Julian Seawright to get your full forecast for the rest of the work week. We all share the same roads, but when an accident happens, we don't always share the same consequences. Gruber Law Offices has been fighting and winning for people injured by big trucks for more than 30 years. One call, that's all. With reliable COVID-19 results in just 15 minutes, everyone is making room for Binax now in their medicine cabinet. Do we still need these pregnancy tests? Uh, no. Out with the old, in with the number one COVID-19 self-test in the U.S. With the same technology doctors use to test for COVID-19. Binax now. This is me, and this was my stubborn body fat. My name's Adrian, and Sonobello changed my life. Sonobello is America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, and they permanently removed my body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body, it changed a lot. I tried everything to lose the fat, but nothing seemed to work. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently on your stomach, back, chin, and more. I've seen such dramatic results. My tummy is gone, my double chin is gone, and my hourglass shape is back. This was the mommy makeover that I deserved. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-888-803-2714 or go to sonobello.com. Turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. Plus, get free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-501-5956 or go online to buybionic360.com. Call now. Since group started in the 80s, we've been cheering on the true champions of Milwaukee, you and yours. We've been on this path together for 35 plus years. We've had your back from the jump. Let's keep rising together. One call, that's all. Next week on my show, yeah, I've got some great guests. And my next show is an all-out laugh fest. Now I can meet my makeup. Plus, this TikToker can teach us all a thing or two. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. You're watching News 3 Now at 10.
Welcome back. Forever stamps now cost a few cents more. They went up three cents yesterday, now 63 cents a piece. The U.S. Postal Service announced that increase back in October. And other types of shipping also went up. First class mail just over 4% higher. One ounce metered mail now costs 60 cents. And domestic postcards are now 48 cents. We're seeing more tech industry job cuts as the global economy slows. Audio streaming giant Spotify is the latest. Today, the company says it'll cut 6% of its workforce to reduce costs. Spotify had nearly 10,000 employees globally as of September 30th. Over the past three months, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Facebook parent Meta have all announced plans to cut more than 50,000 employees from their collective ranks. Well, next tonight, now that the Mega Millions frenzy is over for the time being, it is Powerball's time to shine. Tonight's drawing worth more than a half a billion dollars after no one won on Saturday night. And that is your winning combination. 12, 31, 47, 58, 60 with the Powerball of 23 and tonight's drawing still pretty far from the top 10 jackpots by the way that peaked at two billion dollars back in november another day another amazing image from nasa's james webb space telescope to share you're looking inside a molecular cloud located 630 light years away the journal nature astronomy published a study including the image today molecular clouds are interstellar groupings of gas and dust where hydrogen and carbon monoxide molecules can form dense clumps within these clouds can collapse to form young stars called proto stars. The iconic Oscar Mayer Wienermobile will be on the UW campus this week recruiting what they call fresh meat to drive the iconic vehicle. Applicants should have an appetite for adventure ready to drive their own PR firm on wheels. You have to have a college degree and also of course a driver's license. Recruiters will be around campus starting on Thursday, January 26th. Next at 10, huge waves crashed into a crowd at a famous big wave surfing event in Hawaii over the weekend and it was captured on video. It's dubbed the Super Bowl of surfing. The Eddie Icow Big Wave Invitational returned for the first time in seven years with huge waves and gigantic swells here. Honolulu Ocean Safety says onlookers got a touch of what can happen if you don't back Back up and listen to the lifeguards. Luckily, no one was injured. Organizers say the waves reached around 50 to 60 feet high. On the opposite end of the spectrum, it's hard to grasp the scale here, but this is a huge iceberg. Some 600 square miles has now broken off from the Brunt Ice Shelf in Antarctica. In this footage from 2019, that's when the crack had just been formed for a few years. It was already quite significant at that time. A British Antarctic Survey says it is the second major break off now from this area in the last two years. The polls are now open to name one of Madison's new snow plows. The city streets division rolling out four new plows and brine trucks, and they want residents to help name them. Over 1,200 names were submitted to the city, and now the voting is down to just 15 finalists. Polls will remain open through February 3rd. The names that have been submitted are quite creative. We have a link at where you can vote at channel 3000. Dot com. So will those trucks need any to see any action this week? Julian see right now with your certified most accurate forecast. And that's going to be something to watch for is what we will see developing later into this week. Because as of right now, not too much of the snow plows are going to be needed as we're looking at our first glance of what's possibly coming going into later parts of the week. But the good news is, is that from little snow that we got from this weekend, well, we actually are doing pretty well in terms of snow depth throughout southern Wisconsin, especially our friends in northern Wisconsin. Now around Madison, in Dane County areas and to the north, looking at about three inches of snow depth. So for all our ski and snowboard lovers, well, the mountains are actually pretty good in terms of conditions as of right now. And they're going to be that way throughout the rest of this week, especially heading into next week as well. But the thing is about next week, well, we'll tell you about it coming up. And as of right now, it is cloudy but quiet. It's 25 degrees. Temperatures will climb into the upper 20s and transitioning into our current setup. Things are going to be that way throughout the next 24 hours. Tuesday is going to be another quiet one. Going to see varying cloud cover throughout much of southern Wisconsin and the upper Midwest in itself. But once we get into our Wednesdays, when we're looking for some change, we'll get there into a moment. 33 degrees looks to be our high in on Tuesday and we're going to see variably cloudy skies. It's going to be dry in throughout southern Wisconsin. The lower 30s and the upper 20s are really going to be the theme for us with cloud cover really blanketing our skies once more. I apologize, but I, I really am happy that you were able to get some sunshine for today because we're not going to be seeing much sun in the coming days. Tuesday morning, we're going to see those temperatures into the upper 20s. Plenty of cloud cover. May see some flurries for our friends to the west, but overall not really looking at much in terms of activity. Around 12 o'clock, we are still into the lower 30s, upper 20s, and 5 o'clock, 
same thing. We're going to be seeing our commute tomorrow not really being impacted by the weather, which is fantastic news. Tuesday night, rather quiet. Temperatures are actually going to be a bit more than what they are for tonight, but we're going to see heading into our Wednesday morning developments of that system is going to be bringing in a bit of some snow. Now it's tracking south and says it's tracking south. We're going to really see just our areas that are going to be south of Dane County. This will be from Green Rock County over towards Kenosha area to bring in some snow early for our Wednesday morning, and that's going Going to continue to be the pattern throughout our late Wednesday morning, early Wednesday afternoon, and start to taper off once we get into our Wednesday evening. So really for our Wednesday, any kind of snowfall is going to be for areas that are going to be south and east of Dane County. Everywhere else, folks, you're just going to be having another cloudy and cold day. And transitioning into Thursday, we might start to see some more developments going into our Thursday nights. But overall, all the snow that we're going to be seeing over the next couple of days later into the work week, it's not going to be a whole lot. Trace amounts maybe one to two inches, but areas to the southeast are going to be having the best opportunity to see one to two inches of snowfall. So not a really a whole lot, which is good news because if you're tired of shoveling, well, we're not looking at it to be too much to shovel from this next event. But the other thing we're going to watch for folks is some serious cold coming next week and not just on the surface. We're talking about wind chills. Winds will start to pick up. Temperatures on the surface will be into the teens overnight into the single digits. Of course, let's add that with some of those winds and it's going to be wind chills from 5 to 10, so maybe even 15 degrees below zero. Be prepared for the cold, but also for the snow later in this week. It's going to do for weather. Over to you, Jordan. Yeah, coming up in sports, the big Monday night Big Ten battle out in Evanston. We got highlights from Wisconsin's matchup with Northwestern when we return. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. At Stanton Optical, independent eye doctors are available for eye exams whenever you need one. You should have seen me before I got mine. You're so quiet. Are you mad at me? Book your free same-day eye exam at Stanton Optical today. Save big money on your next project at Menards. American Standard offers high-quality plumbing fixtures that you can count on. From faucets and shower heads to toilets and more, American Standard has it all. Save big money on all American Standard products. Relax and unwind with a new Whirlpool from Elger. This 10-jack corner massage bathtub offers a spa-like feel. Plus, get a free inline heater with the purchase of any Elger Whirlpool after rebate. Save big money on all Elger Whirlpools at Menards. Save big money at Menards. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up, but what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, and the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. The weather. What's the chance of rain tomorrow? Ooh, 80%. I make it rain. I make it rain. <laughs> Speaking of making it rain, at Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison, we have an average 95% payout, which leads you to more chances of playing longer and more chances to win big. Play longer, win more, chances are you're gonna like it. Ho-Chunk Gaming Madison. How do you become America's number one? Start by taking care of families for over 75 years. Earn the trust of 32 NFL teams. Be there for America's toughest. And help when help is needed. America's number one is in a status earned overnight. It's earned in every wash and re-earned every day. Tide, America's number one detergent. Stanton Optical 
is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $400 at Lens Crafters, over $200 at Walmart, and over $150 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. Schedule shuffle, Badger men's basketball finally gets its Big Ten battle with Northwestern. Now, Wisconsin's in a pretty good spot heading to Evanston. They're fresh off a gritty win over Penn State, plus they have won the last seven against the Wildcats. Well, both teams enter the night with identical records at 12 and 5. Now, it takes a bit for the Badgers to get into the rhythm. They trail by six at halftime, but the second half, things start clicking. Connor Asijan doing his thing in the corner, drains a triple to put UW on top three of his 10 points on the night. Now, Chucky Hepburn getting it done on both sides of the ball. He turns defense into offense to extend the Badgers lead. But some missed opportunities by the Badgers and fouls in the final minutes allow Northwestern to edge Wisconsin 66 to 63. Jordan Davis with a career high 15 points tonight. Now the Badgers are going to try to bounce back Wednesday night when they travel to Maryland. Tip off is set for six. Taking a look at the latest AP top 25 Marquette moves up four spots to 16 after big wins over Providence and Seton Hall this past week. And a couple of notable changes at the top of the poll. Houston no longer on top after being knocked off by unranked Temple. So Purdue is going to slide back into that number one spot. They're followed by Alabama, Houston, and Tennessee. Bucks starting off the week on a very high note. Drew Holiday named Eastern Conference Player of the Week, plus Giannis and Chris Middleton return to action as the Bucks face Detroit. Well, the Greek freak didn't miss a beat. He takes one from Drew Holiday, slams it home to make it an 18-point game in just the first quarter. Seconds later, he's going to drill a three from the wing. That's part of a 20-point opening quarter for Giannis. He goes on to drop 29 in his return, and the Bucks bounce back 150 to 130. Badger women's hockey is finally back to their winning ways. The team snapped its five-game losing streak over the weekend. Then they broke out the brooms yesterday against Minnesota State. Now helping make that all happen was Cami Cronish, and that's why she's the WCHA Goalie of the Week. After making 49 saves on 50 shots against the Mavs, she is leading the league with a .98 save percentage, and Sunday's shutout marks her sixth of the season. As for the rankings, the Badgers are staying put once again in the USCHO poll at number eight. And Wisconsin football makes it official today, announcing that Matt Mitchell will join the Badgers coaching staff. He will head the outside linebackers and special teams units. He spent 13 years at the helm of Grand Valley State, and over 12 seasons, he had a lot of success, amassing a record of 117 and 31. And the stage is set for the conference championships. The AFC is a rematch of last year's with the Bengals and Chiefs facing each other. Then over in the NFC, you got the Eagles. They are going to host the 49ers. Both these games are going to feature former Badgers. You got Leo Chanel for KC, TJ Edwards for the Eagles. The NFC Championship game kicks off at 2 on Sunday on Fox 47 with the AFC Championship airing right here on CBS. That's going to kick off at 5.30. We'll be right back. Save Fresh Perks, it's easy to get lower than low prices for the win. Earn fuel points on every purchase and save up to a dollar a gallon at the pump. With Pick and Save Fuel Points, all you do is win big, big savings. Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Spark inspiration at the Build and Remodel Expo. Chat with local experts showcasing the latest innovations in home building and remodeling. Browse kitchen, bath, and new home construction trends. Visit buildremodelexpo.com for more information. Low E has hurt my ability to perform. He hasn't been able to make the bed in years. Now there's hope. Now through January 31st, join Planet Fitness for $1 down, $10 a month, cancel any time, and turn your low energy into big fitness energy in 2023 in a clean and spacious, judgment-free zone with tons of equipment to get you energized. Low E, not for me. Simply join through the free PF app for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Deal ends Tuesday, January 31st. <laughs> Get an F-150 with 0% APR financing for 36 months, plus 1,000 bonus cash and 500 accessories cash. Lake Ridge may be a new name. 
But it isn't a new bank. It's one built on over a century of community commitment. One equipped with all the knowledge and resources of 145 collective years of experience. Monona Bank and State Bank of Cross Plains are coming together as one. As Lake Ridge Bank, we're doing more together for you. Lean back and save big this winter at the Century House. Right now, save hundreds going from one grade of stressless leather to a superior grade for free. Or save $300 and get a free battery when you purchase any stressless mic or stressless max motorized recliner or any stressless classic power recliner. Don't miss out. Shop the Century House, 3420 University Avenue in Madison. Wisconsin Chamber Orchestra presents the Four Seasons on January 27th, featuring Vivaldi's iconic masterpiece. Get your tickets before they're gone at wcoconcerts.org. With the Pick and Save app, no matter where you order free pickup, you get the same great deals as you get in our stores. So start your cart today. Pick and save. Fresh for everyone. Keeping your private conversations private. Thursday at 10. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, ever wonder what people do in Key West, Florida, in the middle of January? Usually they just enjoy the weather, but this weekend it was all about 150 pooches taking part in Wiener Palooza, <laughs> Dachshund Parade in the city's historic downtown. It is a fundraiser there for a local nonprofit that benefits animals in need and included both long haired and the short haired Dachshunds, as well as some Wiener Dog wannabes representing other breeds. Grand Marshal Chester is a dapper 12 year old rescue Dachshund. Let's see if we see him here. He's, he'd be the one wearing the, uh, Not the, wiener. the tuxedo, <laughs> not the hot dog. I don't know if we got him. I don't know if we got uh, he? him there. He's, he's wearing a, tu a tux and a. The top hat. So you like Key West, huh? I do like it's Key West. It's a different world now. It really is. Something it else. definitely is. I could go for some Key West right now. Too it's bad we're not going to get yeah. those temps, are we? No, no. not even close. Mm -hmm. It's going to be temperatures in the 30s, and the next week's serious cold is going to be right behind it. Please, we have some snow in the way. All right, Julian, thank you. Thanks for joining us at 10, folks.